hi there back again to share another really quick video with you and um, this time as we're running up to Christmas I just thought it'd be good to share my five top tips for a great gluten-free Christmas um, I've made a few notes so if I refer to those if I keep looking down that's what I'm doing um, so my number one is if you can possibly host Christmas at home I'd suggest to do that. Um, I know it's a little bit close now and if that's not the case already, other plans might be in place. But I know for myself, by doing Christmas at home, I know that everything's sorted. Um, my kitchen's the same, you know, um, and I know that it's gonna be a safe place and all's good to go. Um, and also as well, um, for our Christmas dinner, everything I do will be gluten-free that's on the Christmas dinner. Um, so our main and our pudding, and that's all going to be completely gluten free so I don't have to worry about any cross contamination or anything like that and to be honest there's no compromise whatsoever to taste or anything like that um, it's equally as delicious and yeah so that's my first tip. Second is if you can't host Christmas at home and you're going to friends and family um, have a chat through with them to explain about your dietary needs. I mean, obviously, if it's close friends and family, they're already witnessed how you have to live your life daily to ensure your diet's gluten free. Um, and I'm sure they'll be pretty much on it. Um, but it's just always worth having a chat with them. And um, when I go over to my friends, they often send me um pictures beforehand of things they're looking at you know um using so they'll show me the the picture of the product and the ingredients and the back information just so i can make sure that's all good for you know good to go for me um and also as well what what people do you know say you go over and it's nibbles and they've done everything sort of in a separate area for me they'll keep hold of all the packets as well so i can double check that everything's all right um when i go over as well so that's really good so as i say if you can ask people to keep hold of the packets then that's good um if you're staying for a longer length of time then i'd suggest that you take over things like cereal and um, that's what i would certainly do and i know it might sound a bit you know over the top but you take it's not so take your own butter pot and um your own little pot of jam and label that so that can go in the fridge and no one else can use it i mean my family in the past have automatically done that for me when I've gone to stay and it's had a label on there. Um, so I, you know, I've always known that everything will be okay. But I know sometimes if you may be new to the diet um, and are not too sure about the diet, um, then, you know, if you take a few leads then that that will be certainly helpful um, to do that. Okay, so my third gluten-free tip is stock up on all your favourite goodies. Um, that means that when the snacks come out at night time um, and you've just got the munches, you know you're going to be all sorted and you don't feel that you're missing out. Um, we've got a little stash on the go in various parts. I've got some in the dresser in the kitchen, some in the little table in the hall, um, but I know I'm going to be well and truly stocked up with treats for over the Christmas period. So gluten-free treats, of course, over the Christmas period. So, so yeah, so that's my third uh, tip. So my fourth tip would be uh, menu planning in advance. I mean, again, we're only nearly a week off Christmas, so I'm quite sure you're pretty much on that already. Uh, but just working out what will make things easier and where you can do everything um, gluten-free is just really good so it's things like so if you're having like people around on boxing day i think things like like chili or uh, gluten-free lasagna with some salad um or a nice hot pot with a gluten-free pastry crust um all those sort of things are just perfect and if you do them in abundance so you do lots of them then you've got plenty to go at um and you can, you know, do various options and things like that, but say where you can go gluten free. But as I say it's just working out what sort of things you're having. I've got like canopy suggestions, the so gluten free canopy suggestions over on my blog. I'll put a link for those below. Um, I've got them on like um, pastry um, bases, like gluten free pastry bases, but you could use it on little pieces of gluten free bread and things like that as well. So, so yes, yeah, so it's just plan in advance what you're going to make and then where you can make that gluten free um so yeah so that's my fourth tip so the fifth tip and the final one i'm going to go with is don't feel pressured to make everything i mean this pretty much goes to 
everybody that sort of um, ends up being the cook over Christmas um, because it's so easy to think, oh, I need to make this. I've, I've actually just thought this morning, I normally do a ham on Christmas Eve, but there's only me, Neil and Dad. Um, so there's no real need for us to do a ham. We've got a big joint of turkey. I've ordered some Vokes gluten-free pies. So they're coming any day now and they can go in the freezer. I can take them out as a need. So they're, they're absolutely brilliant gluten-free pies if you ever feel like getting those in the future. Um, so yeah, so I thought the ham's not necessary. Um, so, um, and I've realised just gone off a little bit on tangent then. So yeah, so, so you don't have to make everything from scratch. Um, where you can buy things, there's loads of great gluten-free options. So um, I've had some, um, I've always loved Marx's gluten-free mince pies, but I tried the Tesco ones this year and they are amazing as well. So they're great. Marx's gluten-free Christmas cakes, fab. I've actually, my friends picked me up a gluten-free Yule log from Marx's. Um, and their Christmas pudding is great as well. So I say, don't feel pressured that you have to make everything. Um, it's nice just to be able to enjoy it. And as well, it's like, it doesn't have to be that you have certain things on certain days. It's just whatever you fancy. So if you fancy, you know, a nice gluten-free cheese on toast for your, your tea on Boxing Day, so be it. That's absolutely fine. Just have whatever you want to have. Um, so um so yeah that's that's my little roundup of my top tips for a gluten-free christmas um it's not exhaustive there'll be lots of other things that i'm sure you'll be able to add to this list as well uh, but basically it's just to have a safe and happy gluten-free christmas um thanks so much for watching the videos over the last year um i look forward to being back again in um the new year to share more with you um but in the meantime just have a very happy christmas and take care and bye for now